Apple's new iPad, the iPad Air, is smaller, thinner, and lighter than its previous iPad. But how big is it? I'm Taylor Martin, this is Pocket Now, and this is the iPad Air size comparison. After months of rumors and leaks, Apple's newest iPad is finally available. The biggest improvements, apart from the A7 chip inside, is its new appearance. According to Apple, the iPad Air is 28% lighter, 20% thinner, and 3 quarters of an inch narrower than last year's iPad 4. It weighs exactly one pound. And frankly, we couldn't be more happy with the new look and feel. As with many devices, however, it isn't always so easy to convey the actual size. So we've brought together all the miscellaneous items and devices in our office to compare with the iPad Air and help you see how its physical footprint stacks up against the competition. We begin with the scale of its comrades. On the left, the iPad Mini, and to the right, the iPad 3. In the middle, you can clearly see the iPad Air looks far more like the Mini now, with its lower radius rounded edges, but it's still rather close in size to the last generation iPad. That is, until the Mini is out of the equation and you compare the iPad 3 and Air side by side. The changes are rather dramatic. It's quite noticeably thinner and narrower. But when you pick them both up, it's impossible to overlook how much lighter the iPad Air is than the iPad 3. Almost 200 grams. We can't convey that on video, but trust us, it's a significant difference. What about beside non-Apple tablets? The iPad Air is also significantly smaller than the Samsung-built Google Nexus 10 in every way you can measure. It's thinner, lighter, narrower, and shorter. Much of the same can be said in comparison to the Sony Xperia Tablet Z except the iPad Air is actually thicker than the Tablet Z by 0.6 millimeters. Beside the Samsung Galaxy Note 10.1 2014 edition, however, the two tablets are incredibly similar in size. The Galaxy Note 10.1 is actually larger in every way, but negligibly so, as it also sports a larger, higher resolution display. And just for the fun of it, here's the iPad Air beside some much smaller Android tablets. the iPhone 5, and the Galaxy Note 3. Finally, this is the iPad Air beside non-tech items, such as a spiral-bound folder, one-foot square piece of acoustical foam, and a graphing calculator. The new iPad is no small tablet by any means. With a 9.7 inch display, no tablet will be. But the design and hardware improvements over last year's model are significant, noticeable, and welcomed. That's going to do it for this video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to let us know by clicking the thumbs up button below and subscribing to the channel to see more videos like this one and much more iPad Air coverage. Follow us in all the usual places, Twitter, Google+, and Facebook at Pocket Now. I'm Taylor Martin, you can find me on Twitter at Casper Tech, and I will see you next week.